Oh man, my shoes are totally drenched in mud. Hey Chubba, it doesn't smell like mud. Well, this is day two. This is attempt number two to try to get a hatchable. It's 6.30 in the morning, heading back to Target. Uh, I've learned two things since the last update, last video. I learned talking to some employees again, uh, this time over their phone, I learned that they usually get their deliveries on Monday, Tuesday, sorry. They usually get their deliveries on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So those are the days you want to get in and, and get in there and try to uh, grab one first thing in the morning. So that's what we're doing. It's uh, Monday morning. Hopefully we have better luck than uh, last time I came, which was Saturday morning. Second thing that I learned is that my pants were completely dry when I grabbed them out of the dryer this morning. Okay, form a line exactly like the line that you had outside in the exact order that you had outside. Okay. And so, so Hatchimals over here, NES over here. So, so you, can't you cannot get one of each. No, no. Nope, because they are yeah. limited quantities. Yeah, we've been having a lot of people trying to come in and resell, so we got a li literally limited one. 6503. Yeah. Well, there we go, success. We got a Hatchimal, took two days, uh, probably total an hour of standing in line between the two days. This Target got a shipment of four Hatchimals total today, and the people that were in line in front of me were actually there for an NES, so uh, I was the first one to get hatch Hatchimal, which was cool. So they said you could only get one Hatchimal, and you could only get a Hatchimal or the NES. You couldn't get both. Next thing I gotta do is think of some YouTube videos that I can make with this now that I got it. Let's do it. My kids come from a long line of Krabby Bowlers. I was a Krabby Bowler. My parents were Krabby Bowlers. Lillian. Oh, I think you're right, Lillian. There is a ghost. Well, so right now I'm on my way down to an outdoor Christmas party. For those of you who don't know, I've been an event DJ for, I don't know, like five or six years. So, so I do mostly like weddings and holiday parties and corporate events and things like that. And one of my best clients is a guy who's pretty well known here in the Portland area. Pretty wealthy guy, throws a lot of parties, uh, you know, several times a year. He's a real estate uh, developer and one of the lots that he purchased that he's going to develop has a Christmas tree lot on it. So what he's doing is he invites all his friends out and their families so they can come and just pick out, you know, whatever Christmas tree they want. Uh, and he's making a party out of it. So he's hired me to come play music and he's got a couple caterers. He's got a full bar. Um, hired people to come cut down trees and load them up for people. So it's it's a pretty cool thing and He spends a lot of money on it. And this is just one holiday party He's doing another one in a few weeks, but he's spending a lot of money on this 
which is cool and I appreciate it because uh, usually I get a Christmas tree out of it and uh, usually this is a big chunk of where our Christmas money comes from is is uh, just his events that I'm doing one today and then in one in a few weeks. I really can't stay. Mama, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. I said it's cold outside. I wish I knew how. Tickle the death that you dropped in. To break this spell. You better break, break, break that spell. That was fun. Just got done DJing. Always have a good time, always do a good job. Um, it's easy money the day of, but tomorrow's gonna suck because I have so many cables and uh, all, like, all my equipment's muddy. I'm gonna spend a few hours tomorrow trying to clean up everything. And my shoes, totally ruined by mud. It's your father. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Vlog epicness. What's my channel called? Uh, your channel is uh, Luke's World. Luke, Lucas, uh, Luke Tube. It's Luke Tube. That's your channel. Yeah. Hey, Luke. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? What? I'm gonna say, ah, oh, my shoes are full of mud, and then you open the door and say, hey, that doesn't smell like mud, Tubbo. Or say, say, hey, Tubbo, that doesn't smell like mud. Okay. Oh man, my shoes are totally drenched in mud. Hey, Tubbo, it doesn't smell like mud. Oh, that's good enough. I would have you do it again, but I'm tired and I don't want to yeah, spend all night trying to get you to do a line correctly. Yeah.